Welcome back gaming fans and uh, we want to welcome you here to another uh, playthrough series uh, with me, your host Chino J and Breeze Bruin. Breeze Bruin once again on the <coughs> controllers and today we are playing Mega, Mega Man, Man 7. 7. So, what do you think of this game? Well, this is finally a Mega Man game on a different uh, console. Yeah. After what six I games. Yeah, what I noticed is that from when it went from the 8-bit NES uh, and they started the seventh um, <clears throat> game of, Me of the Mega Man franchise on the SNES, as you can see, and even me when I was younger, I was blown away by the fact that it was uh, actually beautiful. The, all the colors, um, the detail on the characters, uh, everything. From how you see Dr. Light, uh, Dr. Wily. 16 all, bits. <laughs> yeah, 16 bits. All the robot. It looks, it looks really nice. One thing I do have to say, though, is um, when we start the game, you'll notice that uh, the sprites are... They chose to make the sprites pretty big for a game that's used to having the sprite at a smaller scale. Uh, making the environment or the play area seem a lot bigger for Mega Man as he's traversing through the ladders and jumping from platform to platform. In this one, you'll see it looks like Mega Man is taking up a lot of room on the screen. Yeah, that's the the only real gripe I have about Mega Man Seven. But other than that, I mean, the game's decent. I'd say decently long too. It is long. That longer than its predecessors. Yeah. But I mean, has great music. Um, the action's pretty good, okay. and it is it is a pretty hard game. So we can go ahead and start there, uh, Breeze. <laughs> well, we might as well talk up right now because this uh, intro takes a while. <laughs> <laughs> see, as you see, he, the sprites here they're pretty big, but I mean it's really colorful. I mean the details is amazing. This, it, the game still holds up even th despite how many years old this game is. When did this come out? Like yeah, 1995 or something. This game's old. Man, I, I can't even can't even remember. Um, you could be right. And yeah, let me look it up. But this is one of the few times where you actually see Mega Man without his helmet, eh? Yeah, and he has hair. Well, no, he took it off a couple times in the, in the past games, like at the end. Yeah, he you, he reveals it in Mega Man One at the end, and uh, he reveals it at the beginning intro. That's right. To Mega Man Two. I was right, 1995. Nice, nice. You were on point. And that was just a wild guess too. I just assumed. Cause it, I believe the the SNES came out in I think 1993. Mm -hmm. And here's another interesting thing. The um, let's go. The big robot there uh, that's uh, driving the truck there. Auto. It's a new he, robot. Yeah, it's a new robot. He actually gives you an option uh, I, that I noticed in this game when I first played it. Where you can collect bolts all over the all over the game world and uh, take them back to a shop and get certain upgrades or certain power ups, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Especially if you want to stock up on E tanks and stuff, and you can't really get them through the stages, you can buy them for him directly if you have enough bolts. Yeah. Hey, this is the this is the game that introduced uh, the shop system. Yeah. I guess it took them a while because I'm pretty sure there were games old, even older than Mega Man, uh, than the original Mega Mans that had uh, shop systems, mm -hmm. like what comes to mind. Castlevania 2. <laughs> so there we go. There we go. Now, now we, we go. get to play. The freeze is going to go and start kicking some ass. Oh, there we go. Got a big bolt right off the bat. Right. Nice. Details are amazing are back. Yeah. There are a lot of uh, SCNS games that are just really nice to look at. Some examples are uh, Castlevania uh, 4, or Super Castlevania, uh, Super Metroid. Obviously, they all have Super in their name because it's a, a Super console. Super, Me uh, Super Metroid and Super Castlevania. They're some of the best. Games, oh, yeah. those are wicked those, games. Those are some of the best games that the SNES has to offer. Yeah, those are wicked games. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna do a playthrough with those uh, those games with you. Eventually, yeah. Yeah. I think, I, I, I think Castlevania I, first. I would say those games are even longer than Mega Man. Oh, <laughs> and here we have uh, a new guy. I don't know what try his to name beat him, is. Try to Let's beat him. him. 
kick his ass. Oh. Watch the shots. Time, time, time your jump. Don't lose to him. There you go. No, you lost this to him. This is Mega Man. You better tell me who you are. Base. In trouble. So two new uh, robot masters invented by Dr. Wily. But we don't find that out just yet. I guess it's kind of a spoiler. <laughs> Alrighty. Press Ooh. on. Alrighty. You, you, you notice how they did an ninja stage, which is similar to what? Uh, the X series. The X series. Yeah. I, I believe... No, no, no. I think uh, X1 came out before this. Yeah, and they, what what they've done is in X7 they 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 sort of did the whole intro stage yeah. for the game just like they do in the X series, like where there's an intro stage and then you go to a boss selection. So here's another interesting uh, little thing about Mega Man Seven is we don't have the option to fight all four robot masters right off the bat. We have to we only have four at the moment, and it, I'll say that uh, these four robot masters are actually not that easy. Uh, I'd say all of them are kind of challenging, but uh, the certain order that I go in, uh, I always fight. Uh, Freeze Man, I believe his name. Yeah, Freeze Man. I found Freeze Man to be hard. He's not easy, but I think he 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 has the more um, I guess deducible pattern out of the four. The other four are a bit a bit more chaotic. Oh, especially the Robot Master will be fighting after this guy. If you find an E tag, it suggests that you save it for the boss. Um, yeah, this I had trouble with Freeze Man when I played against him. Yeah, I. Freeze Man, I'd say he's not an inadvisable uh, robot master to go after first. It's just, this is the way I've always done it. When I just, they say the recommended right? orders to go to Cloud Man because apparently Cloud Man's really easy. He, he, he flies in the air. He's easy with his weakness. So I'll just kill these Bowler Bears even though they're already going extinct. You have your Rush, cert, or your rush uh, Search tool, just remember that. I do. Um, oh, rush Coil. I have do you, do you, rush do you search. Have it off comes, of that? No, rush you don't, search. Right? No, no, no. Rush search is in this level, and rush search is a very useful item that is uh, only in this game. Yeah, rush search you can use to uh, actually dig up some upgrades for Mega Man himself. You'll find a lot of. We'll, we're going to find a lot of very useful things from yeah. rush search. All right. Uh, can I make this? I think I can. Yes, I can. From what I understand, is that use the yeah the yeah jump on that. That I need the little icicle step. Same thing here. Apparently, you can buy everything you need from, I believe, Auto Store. Uh, if not, you're. Uh, but it saves you. It, it saves you, you some yeah, bolts to buy uh, to just find the items. Which you, okay. This part's a little tricky. Jump, jump. There you go. Okay, this part's a little there you tricky. Go. That's for the rush adapter. Okay, I think I know how to do this. There nice. you go. Nice. That's how you do it. You don't want to stay on these platforms too long, or else they break off. Yeah, so I'm gonna see. Freeze Man stage has the age. Yep. Oh yeah, Rush Search is in, is in the stage. So just like um in Mega Man uh, Five and uh, Mega Man Six, we are collecting letters to uh, to craft a, a very useful weapon for Mega Man. Oh yeah. Okay. It's, I think it's up here. You have to stay yep. on the top. So you got you got to really make these jumps like right on the ledge. Just take a running start. Okay. Th no, this this asks for Rush Coil. Yeah. Gonna use a rush for here. Boom. Nice. Well, almost, I thought I didn't make that for a second. Yeah, I mean, I, oh, nice. There you go. And there's our rush, uh, our rush search. So you got the H, you got the rush search. Okay. And there's an escape unit. This part's a little I annoying. Think. So first, you want to shoot that. These robots, I always hate bro the Mega Man games with these robots. In. You know, you know, they, they, these little things on the floor, they've had it since the first since Mega Man. Since the game. very first yeah. Mega Man. And they're always indestructible. There's always a specific uh, I think it's around here. Need. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, maybe I'm wrong. No, 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 it's not. Oh, it's later on? Yeah, later on. I remember, I remember exactly where it is. Oh, it's near the end of the stage, yeah. isn't it? I remember exactly where it My is. My mind's really rusty, man. <laughs> I have, uh, even though some of these games I, I played when I was a little kid, I still remember most of the secrets and most of the, the little Easter eggs that they have to offer. Yeah, jump. Because I played them so often as a kid. You notice this how is a really big, annoying jump. You, you notice how you notice how big uh, Mega Man Sprite is, right? Yeah, compared like to it's huge. <laughs> and like, I, in the in the other games, uh, Mega Man was pretty small. Yeah. If you if you want if you compare the the old Mega Man, he's probably the sprite size is probably half the size of this sprite here. Yeah, mostly. Old Mega Man's like a midget compared to this new new Mega Man. All right, I know 
It right is here. around here. It's around here. So if you use rush coil around this area, I believe we'll find the energy adapter. I, uh, I think. I'm, uh, yes, there see, you found it. Something useful. I, I believe it's the energy adapter. Is it? You found something for sure. There, the oh, the exit. Okay. Yeah. Okay, no, en no. Oh, energy adapter is in Shade Man stage. Okay. Is it? Yeah. Uh, but we won't see Sa Shade Man for a bit. Okay. Now we gotta get ready to fight. Uh, see, okay, we're pretty much full health. We got one E tank to spare. Uh, let's try to kick Freeze Man's butt. You wanna try to see if you can make it okay. through with just this? Uh, <coughs> oh, you, well, okay. see how you do. The thing with uh, so as we was about to see, the thing with Freeze Man's uh, pattern is that he's very fast. He's not a very forgiving robot master, and he likes to trap he's you on cheap. the floor. <laughs> when you shoot him, he jumps, especially when he's moving. Yeah. Oh, he got a oh crap! Yeah, his uh, Freeze Man's whole gimmick is he likes to uh, freeze you pretty often. He likes to freeze nice. the floor. Yeah. You're doing good, actually, man. You're way better than me. <laughs> oh crap! I had to use like two energy tanks for this guy. Like I had to die once or repeat the level again. They're actually doing way better than I had ever would. Damn. I think this is, this is just a little bit of muscle memory from having to fight this guy so often. Actually, yeah, I'm impressed because you're doing much better than I would ever would. Damn, you're doing pretty good. Die, Freeze wow, Man. Wow, that is so good. <laughs> that was a pretty good duel. Yeah, I, I'm impressed. I like that. No, en no energy tank needed. You know, it says some. I think. Let me check. You know what? Let me check a cheat sheet here. <laughs> pull up my phone. Well, I did pretty good cracker. against him, but even then, he almost killed me. It was almost a, a mutual yeah. killing. The Freeze Cracker fires ice bullets. Doesn't it? Like a shotgun. Yeah. Right? And the bullets will split when they hit the ground. So much like, um... Uh... Who am I thinking Chill of? Penguin's, uh... Chill Penguin. This is pretty much Chill Penguin's uh, ability. <laughs> sort of like that, yeah. That's And that's from X, the X series, X1. Yeah. We won't be there yet for a bit. Now, I think if you go to Clown Man stage... Hang on. If you go to Clown Man stage, you can uh, use the, his weapon to change the weather, and then it makes certain it makes platforms the, appear visible. that are invis yeah. that are invisible, make them visible. Yeah. Um, we we're not going to be tackling Cloud Man. Uh, we're now going to be talking uh, Burst Man, or is he Burst Man or Blood? Oh, yeah, Burst Man. Okay. Yeah. Bubble Man. Pretty much. This is the revamped Bubble Man, but this guy's really annoying, and so is his stage. I think there's one item here you can get. I think it's uh, part of the rush adapter. Yep. I'll say uh, I'll probably need that and these E tank for burst for burst man. Burst man is is definitely a uh, uh, a robot master whose pattern is just so sporadic that it just it, it just, asks for. It's it, it's a it's the thing is is he he'll shoot the bubbles in front of you with the bombs. And they act sort of as a as a shield that, that, that doesn't allow you to. Um... Oh crap! Oh, I missed oh you missed a knee tank. Oh, too bad. That was... Yeah, what I was saying is that when he launches his bubbles, they, they form like a, a barrier in front of him, and you have to shoot them really quickly in order to blow them up. Otherwise, oh, if they reason. collide, if they collide into you, uh, they trap you in the bubble, and the bomb bursts in while you're inside the bubble, and you take damage. Yep. Okay, another another life. But actually, can be pretty useful for this stage because the stage is a bit annoying. I won't lie. Whoa. Life. Nice. Oh, nice. Wolf. There's certain areas where you can get those huge bolts that give you like a whole bunch of them. Yeah, uh, in Springman stage, there's a giant bolt you can find. Springman, and then there's a, uh, somewhere else, right? Yeah. Okay. A little crab mini boss. This guy's not too bad. Uh, oh crap! Watch out! Ay. Look at that! Oh crap! There he's dead. There you go. Usually he does this move where he charges forward at you, but I guess... I was waiting for time. that. Yeah, he didn't have enough time to uh, do it. Okay. Oh, watch out for these little uh, Metroid looking things. These Metroid wannabes. Oh, 
to you. Let's get some coffee to rush it back. Oh, you have to wait for it to go up. Oh, watch out. I think this is a part where you're going to find the letter. Yeah. You got to wait for the, um, the tag oh, to I can do this. High. I can do this. Foil? Oh, I guess not. <laughs> uh, you can't cheat your way out of this one. I will wait for the water. Uh, I forget if you... I forget if you jump into it or if you no, just slide no, no. into I it. No, no, no. I think... I think... Fuck. Um... I think I you think, just uh, you I just think prop you just yourself. walk right into it. Yeah. Go walk, walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If I think I would have jumped. I would have went too far into the spikes. Yeah, it's kind of the it's kind of the physics screwing with you. Thinking, are you gonna jump into? Are you gonna fall straight down? Or are you gonna sink all the way to the bottom? Oh, can you shoot that? Oh, I see. Oh. Disappearing, reappearing blocks. Yeah. Um, Thankfully, this pattern's pretty easy. There you go. Blocks are huge. Those sprites are so big. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay. There's always there's always a, a block formation that's like that. Alright. Wait. Two. Three. Jump right away. Four. There you go. Five. Six. Jump. You made it. That's yeah. You Alrighty. I'll watch out for these frogs. One-eyed frogs. <laughs> okay, I can get some life. Nice. All right. All right. The next. Oh, I can't get that now. Too bad. Oh, that sucks. It's, a, it's right around now. here somewhere. Oh, we only have. Eh, that's not that much. We're gonna get way more bolts later. That that R or whatever I think it is. Yeah, it's there. Go watch out for the metal. There's the next rush piece. There, there you go. go. Get that? There nice. Go. There's the R. Oh, I think I can make it. Yep. Let's get that house. Nice. Stupid fish. I think I can. No, 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 no. Too late now. Drop now. I remember that fall from Mega Man 3. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of reused enemies. Alrighty. This boss is annoying. Let's fight him. Burst Man. So as you see, his main gimmick is he likes to shoot bubbles and bombs. He likes bubbles and bombs. You, you, you want to know another thing I noticed as well, or um, when I first played this, that's similar to the X-Series. Oh, and as you can see, there's spikes on top of the wall, so he likes to shoot bombs at you and also try to I kill you with bombs. Tanks. I think you're right, yeah. I don't want to risk it. I've already done this much damage. Hopefully this... Hey, what I was saying is, um... Don't drop into the bubbles. I get him. Come as on, you can see, th this is the reason why I don't like fighting this boss, is just because he... There we go. Yeah. He hoards the screen you, with bubbles. <laughs> you know, you notice how every time you hit him with his weakness, he um, he'd uh, knock back or he'd stagger, yeah, or whatever, or get stunned. It's exactly just like the X series. Yes. Every Mega Man game from one to six, when you hit uh, the boss with their weakness, they wouldn't stagger at all. No, no animation, stun animation, stagger, nothing. So they sort of took some of the ideas um, when. They implemented uh, in, yeah. The, they took the, the ideas from the X series, which uh, when they made for the SNES, and they brought that into this game. So, yep. And now we got Danger Wrap, which is a little bubble weapon with a bomb in it. It's uh, not that useful. <laughs> Alrighty, let's call it a wrap. All right, so uh, we're gonna wrap this video up here, and uh, when we come back. Um, I'm thinking Breeze might go for Cloud Man this time and uh, Junk we'll, Man for last. Junk Man, and then we'll continue on from there. Thank you for uh, watching the video, and we'll see you soon.